Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it's time for tea. Deborah, yeah. A little bit of tea, trying something a little bit new. Um, I subscribed fairly recently to Sips By. It's where you get some tea every month. They curate it according to what your choices are online. This is not um, promoted, advertised, supported. Oh, what's the word? I paid for it. Nobody else did. Okay. Um, I'm a little behind as per usual. And right now I am still going through some of my November teas. I get four teas in my box. The one I'm going to be uh, drinking today is this pomegranate green super fruit tea by the Republic of Teas. Now, the description, because they give you a description and how to brew each specific tea on this handy dandy little card, it also says made for Deborah because, you know, I chose my stuff. Uh, this is one bag per eight ounces of water, and today I will be using, I think, the closest size mug that I have to an actual eight ounce mug. Most of the time we drink out of what some people would call buckets. We use big ones. So I'm trying a little small one today. Uh, 190 degrees Fahrenheit which is under boiling so I'm gonna let my kettle go off with it boiling and then I'll let it cool off just a bit before I do the tea thing you might be able to hear the kettle actually going over there a little bit it says steep one to three minutes so not a very long steep time for this one uh, organic green tea organic hibiscus natural pomegranate and other natural flavors we'll have to see low caffeine and that is something else you can choose your caffeine levels like if you're someone who doesn't want any caffeine in any of your teas you can tell them that if you don't want any fruities and florals you can tell them that so i pretty much said give me all the things any of the things i'll try them all so that's kind of what i'm getting here um antioxidant rich pomegranate is blended with fresh and crisp china green tea and organic hibiscus to create a uniquely refreshing ruby hued cup Mm, another red cup of tea wonderful hot or iced and I also have my sweetener here I use uh, stevia which is a uh, no calorie no actual sugar sweetener diabetes here I try to not have to dose for every little thing I do so this helps with that considering it's a, a red uh, colored tea I don't usually put creamer or milk in those so I'm not going to do it with this one but we'll see I just heard the little doodah click over there, so we do have to let it cool a little bit anyway. Let's see, what's the good way to open this? It doesn't say. Awesome, it's in Deborah Proof Packaging. Maybe. I think there might be a little way to separate it here. Okay, Republic of Tea. Oh, there, there. The, the littlest, tiniest little notch in that. Are you kidding? Ooh, it smells nice I don't get pomegranate in my face sniffing it or anything ah no string it's a round tea bag okay hmm that does smell so pleasant though I'm gonna drop that in my mug and I'm going to pause it oh and also on the back of the tea bag there are of course directions place tea bag in a cup steep for one to three minutes use water just short of boiling so that's what I'm doing. I'll let it cool off just a smidge. And it's a round, unbleached tea bag, free of wasteful strings, staples, and tags. But then you got a tea bag in your mug, so I'll have to fish that out. Anyway, I will pause and be right back, and then we'll steep. Okay, sorry for the little jump there. I am back. The tea is steeping. I have a timer set because it said one to three minutes, so I set it for two minutes. Nice in between. It does smell nice steeping. It, it smells like a really nice, just green tea. I don't smell pomegranate or anything like that, but we will see. Um, while we're waiting for that to steep, talk about the crochet portion of the program, because you know it's crochet life and stuff. And this is life and stuff, but also crochet. This is the Divine Hat. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. Plus, there are folks who have done tutorials, um, including Fiber Spider. Fiber Spider does have a tutorial for this. I've made it enough times now that I could just do it, and I'm very proud of myself for that, because yes. Um, as for the tea thing, I do have a playlist. Let's see if I can remember to stick the playlist for the tea right above there. Tea, time for tea with Deborah. I've also got snacks around the world and um, 
yeah, just, just check it out. There's lots of stuff going on on this little bitty channel. Okay, we are almost at the end of the steeping time for the two minutes. And if you've been around here for a minute, you know, there's the beep. That super high temperature stuff just burns my face completely off. So I'll probably have to just blow on it in a spoon. Yeah, totally uncouth, but it is what it is. All right, taking the tea bag out of here, just fishing it out because I don't want it to get strong and bitter. We'll just set that aside. I've got a little plate there. And I am going to try it without the sweetener first, as I usually do. It doesn't have a super red color. It looks a little bit pinky, but not super red like the, like the major hibiscus stuff that I've had before. So let's uh, give this a shot. Have to blow on it like a child. So sorry. But it does smell nice. And it's a chilly day. So... Yeah, this is actually kind of nice to sit here with a cup of tea. We should all take time for tea. I'm not getting any of the pomegranate. I'm not getting, what other does it say that, that's in there? Hibiscus, other natural flavors. I don't know what those are. This just tastes like a nice green tea. Nothing special about it really. Let's try, let's try it with some sweetener and see if that changes the characteristic a little bit. Put my little stevia in there. Because, yeah, I like my tea a little sweet. And I like my black tea to have milk in it or creamer. Because I do. That's how I grew up drinking it. Um, I've been drinking hot tea since I was a small child. I've always liked that. I love the smell of coffee, but I never used to love the taste of coffee. I do drink coffee now, too. So... I guess when you grow, your taste might change if you try new things. Now let's try it with some sweetener. Still too hot to drink though. The sweetener does elevate it to me. Um, it's, it's still a very nice green tea, but like I said, I still don't taste the pomegranate. I don't even get the scent of it, and I think that's weird because there was a scent of a little something else from the tea bag, but the cup just is not bringing that to me. It's not bad. Would I go out of my way to order this tea again? No, probably not. Would I drink it if it's offered? Absolutely. Nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know, there's just nothing spectacular, blow my mind, do all the things for it. And as for preference, I do prefer black teas over green teas. So this, it's good. And if you're a green tea lover, I think you're really going to love this. I like it. I will finish this cup once it cools down to drinking temperature for me. Um, yeah. So we'll see you again on the next uh, Time for Tea with Deborah. Make sure you take some time for tea. Also, please, if you could, take some time to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love it if you left me a comment. Do you like green tea or do you prefer black teas or are you strictly coffee? Let me know down below. See you very soon. Bye, y'all.